Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. And as the title suggests, today's video is going to be all about Project Pan and how I'm starting my Project Pan journey. First of all, it's very windy outside, so I really hope that my video is not very noisy. Please bear with me. Huge shout out to beauty blogger and super experienced in this field for like 10 plus years i'm sure so her name is shreya jain shout out to her for inspiring me to start my project pan journey with my makeup now i've written down a bunch of points as to why project pan and why i see value out of it and what i have learned from the videos that i have seen so far i will link a good project pan video for you to understand better what exactly it is in the description box okay so the first thing what is project pan exactly you try to set attainable goals for yourself and you choose certain makeup products that you're going to use in a certain span of time be it two weeks a month two months, six months, you can take it for whatever period you want. And from your own makeup collection, you identify which products you're going to focus on for each area. For example, I may choose a bronzer, I may choose a powder. So you may identify a group of products that you're going to focus on for a particular period of time. Why the name Project Pan, right? So first, let me explain you that. Pan, basically, when a beauty blogger says, I've hit pan on this product, it means that the product is empty and it's hitting the bottom part of the pan in which the product is kept. Project pan, what it signifies and why project pan is so that you can use the makeup that you already own to the fullest potential. Advantages or some positives that I see from the project myself. First one, as I already mentioned, is that it's going to help you use the makeup that you already own to a good potential. Like you may not finish the product, but based on your project pan goals, you can decide how much of it you want to finish and you may or may not achieve it that's a different thing but at least you work towards it right so you're giving that product the love that it needs on a daily basis the second thing is about reduce wastage we collect makeup over a period of time and after a point you realize that you've had something for a very long time and it might be even expired and you open it and see and you haven't even touched it you've never used it and you feel so bad but again you don't want to spoil your skin so you just end up putting it in the trash and that is not sustainable right also generating waste and you're also wasting the money that you put on the product when you bought it in the first place it might have even been a high-end luxury luxury or an expensive item. Third point is I have been seeing Shreya Jane's project pan updates, right? It is eye-opening and it helps you understand how long it actually takes to finish the product that you already own. For example, blushes, right? We don't apply a lot of blush. It's like very little color on your cheeks. So a blush may take six months to finish. Oftentimes, we always see a new trend or a new product coming out in the market and that's not wrong. We always want to try something new and exciting. But at the same time, we also should realize what we already own and how good of a product that is as well. If you understand how long it takes to finish a product, it might even help you shop less. Or the other way around, you might finish up the product sooner and be able to try out something new. Next thing it's going to help with is to reduce hoarding. I might be hoarding makeup products that I have bought five years ago and it's still in my collection, right? So when you do project pan, it's going to help you audit the products that you own and what you're using, what you're not, what needs love, what you haven't touched. And it will help you reduce hoarding because then you'll realize there are some expired items that you may have to get rid of. The next point is about understanding formulations. Okay, when you do project pan, you're going to identify a certain product in each area, right? So today I'm going to share with you the products that I've chosen for my first project pan month. When you do project pan, it's going to help you understand different formulations and what product can be paired with what product. For example, you may have a particular foundation in your project pan list of products with some type of cream blush or something. And then you realize that it's crumbling on top of your foundation and it's not working together, right? So then you know what in your collection works with what. That is another way to understand how to mix and match and use your makeup well. Now, the next thing is to feel excited, right? And you have a purpose to use your makeup. I don't paint my face on a daily basis either. I don't feel motivated to do my makeup if I don't have anywhere to go. But on the other hand, if you have some goals to hit or you have gone through your collection and you've set some products that you want to use, then you feel excited. So for example, after today, when I decided my project pan products, I went ahead and did my makeup. 
So yeah, it's going to help you feel excited about your makeup and it'll help you have fun with it. Which leads me to the next point, which is have fun. So at the end of the day, makeup is all about self-expression and self-love, right? So it shouldn't feel like a task to apply makeup, more like you should enjoy the process and learn from it, right? It's a creative process. So Project Pan will also help you have fun with your makeup. That's it from the positives aspect. Now is the most exciting part, drum roll. I'm going to tell you the seven products that I have shortlisted for my first project pan journey. Okay. What I did was I have picked one product in each category. Like I have a foundation, I have a powder, I have a concealer, I have a bronzer, I have a highlighter and I have blush and primer. So these are the products that I've identified and I'll show you what products that I have chosen in each of these categories. But also, I have not chosen something in lipstick, mascara, eyeliner, because those categories I want it to be free. I want to be able to choose whatever I want based on my mood. Because lipstick, it's all about the mood, right? You don't want to do the same color the entire month. So at least for now, I'm not keeping lipstick in my first project pan month. Also, another disclaimer, for my project pan, I have not kept goals for each product that I want to finish half the bottle of foundation, that I want to finish up my concealer. That's a bit hard, right? Because I don't shoot on a daily basis. I'm not in heavy camera lights. I just do small scale production of my videos at home. So I don't need a lot of foundation or I don't need a lot of product on my face. So it's hard for me to aim to finish half a bottle and stuff. For now, what I'm going to do is just have a set of products that I'm going to concentrate on for the entire month. Okay. With that introduction, let us get into the products that I have chosen. Yay, I'm so excited. So for primer, their beauty primer about to be finished. I chose this because I, I love this primer a lot. I've been constantly reaching out to it. So I was like, might as well finish this little bit, right? Sometimes we always have that little bit of quantity left in products and then you forget about it for a long time and then it's just pointless. So I thought I'll just choose this so that I can finish up this much. And this is the smaller size actually. Next, in terms of foundation, I have chosen this Fit Me Foundation dewy smooth the shade is 228 soft tan this foundation i have tried in the past like three four years back and then i repurchased it in 2020 and ever since i haven't been able to use it it's brand new almost so i have chosen this foundation to use during this project pan and let's see how much of it i can use up in this month then for concealer i have had this concealer for a very long time it's called Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer Plus Corrector. I really like this concealer. It helps to brighten the under eye, but at the same time doesn't make my under eye look gray. So it's like the perfect brightening shade for me. I have it in the shade 30 Light Medium. So I have kept this concealer. Actually, a lot of my Project Pan products for this month are Maybelline. <gasps> yeah, I love Maybelline. For powder to set my foundation, I have this. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade... 240 golden beige i think this is the old version from two two and a half years ago you won't see the packaging like this anymore but yeah that's the very reason why i chose this because i've had this for a long time and you can even see a dent in this product like i've used it quite a bit so what i want to do is just give it a little more love push it over the edge and maybe I can hit pan on this, okay? So for bronzer, I have heavily been using the Benefit Hula bronzer for the past few months, and I've already hit pan on that. So what I thought is that I'm gonna use this Hourglass bronzer. It's called Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. And this is how it looks. Barely it looks touched, although I have used it a couple of times. So yeah, I'm gonna concentrate on this bronzer for the next month blush i have chosen this jouet cosmetics bouquet d'amour this blush palette it has beautiful six shades like this and i don't know if this is still sold but yeah i got this during a sale in sephora and it's such a beautiful palette so i want to give this some love i've used it you know, sometimes in the past, but yeah, none of the shades looked used. And my last Project Pan product for this month is going to be highlighter. 
so this is a highlighter palette that i was eyeing on i think last year or 2020 during the thanksgiving sale i got this it's called anastasia beverly hills sugar glow kit and this is how it looks these are the beautiful shades and i'm going to concentrate on this I try to use it as highlighter, as eyeshadow and so on. So I'm super, super excited. Today, as soon as I decided that I want to do Project Pan, I sat and I like sifted through my makeup and chose my products and immediately I painted my face. So yeah, and I loved how my makeup turned out. I hope to provide you some Project Pan updates at the end of the month to tell you how my Project Pan journey is going on. That's it from me. And if you want to do Project Pan along with me, DM me or drop a comment in the video telling me which products you are planning on using for the month. And then at the end of the month, we can share updates with each other. I would be happy to hold you accountable and, you know, we can share updates with each other and have fun with it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.